Hi guys, this is another video about Laravel and in this video I'll show you how to use uh, PHP variable in Laravel Blade. Okay, so here we go. Here is my home page, part of home page here and I want to use a variable. Okay, so if you directly want to declare a variable in PHP Blade, oh, sorry, in Laravel Blade, all you need to do first do write at and PHP and then do a bracket that's all and inside it you declare a variable whatever variable you want and you initialize give it a value that's so simple that's it again see how to do that you want to declare a variable in P laravel blade all you need to do first you write at keyword then write php and then declare the variable and initialize it and then you can access it wherever you want. Say, for example, I want to access it here. Yes, I can do that. Say, for example, how to do this. Okay, so all I need to do, just to write double curly braces and X, the value of X. Okay, so let's save it and see what is here. So, I'll definitely will get zero, and I think we'll get zero three times because this loop runs three times. So this is what currently, and if I declare, if I refresh the browser, and that's what we'll see. Mm, it's loading, hold on, loading now. Okay, three zeros, because it was inside a loop, and the loop ran for three times. But that's a very stupid way to use this. We don't want to use it like that, because I declared it, I have a purpose, a reason to use it. Actually, I'll tell you why I'm doing it. So here I'm doing, I'm passing a, I'm passing an array from my con controller to blade. So I want to grab this array and iterate through the array. So we, we learned it last time that if you have a compact function and using the compact function, you can just pass whatever you want. So in this case, I'm passing this one over here and this one over here, okay. So now we'll grab this one in our blade. Let's see how to do that. Okay, so all you need to do, how to access it? We learned it last time. So double curly braces, and you write links, that's it. But again, if we do links, it will get the whole object. So I want to get the first object, or the first array value, portfolio, this one. Okay, and let me explain to you what I'm going to do with this. So actually, right now, I want this part, this div, it's a div here, actually. This div, I want it to be a link. So someone hover over it or clicks on it, it goes to a different page, like this and this. So all I want that they go to different pages when someone clicks on that. So I need to make it a link. So over here, I have this content. So people will click on this content and then it will become a link. So what to do? So I need to write this section, this section within a href tag, HTML href. And yes, that's all. Yeah, that's it. So now over here, I'll access our um, object here. So what's the object? Uh, the object we passed from uh, from our controller so what we got from controller we got this one links all right but as we want to grab it in our blade we need to use the dollar sign okay and now for the first one I want I want it to go to the portfolio link and where is my portfolio link okay so well first it's coming from here so but this is just a string it doesn't have a value okay I mean, it doesn't have extra value to browser or our Laravel. So again, this is the portfolio and we have to access this one. So how do we access it? Just write zero, right? Okay, so then we'll get the first one, uh, the first link. But definitely I have written the, I've written the, let's see, our route over here. There is a portfolio route. Yes, where is my portfolio? This one, right? Okay, so when someone clicks on this one, okay, it'll come over here, the first one. First one is this one. 
okay and redirect uh, pass a go to portfolio page okay so let's see but in this case it will create three links because for each loop runs three times and but each one would be portfolio let's see verify it oops it's not showing up oh i know all right let's see it is href tag and it's uh, being it's it's being shown in color i don't want to do that in color uh, in white color i want to do it in different color so what i want to do i think i want to do uh six three six b six f that's my favorite color let's see now all set Here we go. So now if you hover over it, you see the portfolio link over here, portfolio, and over here, portfolio. It's portfolio everywhere because it's looping through this link object, and but it's always zero. So we need to increment it or change it. How can we do it? Do it through the, do it using our variable, which we declared early, this x value. And we will do x plus plus. So after each loop, after each iteration, uh, it will increase the value. So first time it is x equal 0, second time it's x equal 1, and third time it's x equal 2. That's how you use a PHP variable in Laravel Blade. And well, of course, definitely the usage is over here, but you can extend it just like me, whatever you need, however you need. Anyway, let's verify it. And saved it, refresh the browser. There we go. So portfolio, software freelancing, as you can see here, and learn programming over here, as you saw just now. All right, hopefully you guys learned something. Yeah, uh, see you guys next time, bye.